Right now, we are going to advance to a study of the advanced decline line with Kriti Gupta. Kriti, what do you have? Well, Tom, we got to take a little bit of a blast of the past. In the last 24 hours, yesterday's rally was so <coughs> significant because it was the broadest going all the way back into 2020. And that brings me to my chart of the day, because traditionally when you see that kind of broad rally, it is good news in that there isn't necessarily a defensive tilt or perhaps a cyclical tilt to it. The entire market is rallying. And on top of that, you had some high volume as well. So perhaps conviction buying on the surface. So my chart of the day shows just that. The advanced decline line, essentially how many S&P 500 stocks are positive minus how many ended the day negative. And really, if you go back to 2020, 2021, you see this massive rally. But of course, in 2022, with that sell-off, you've seen that advanced decline line really just stall out. So the question here is we do need to see a little bit more of that breadth to perhaps have that sustainable rebound. At least that's what we saw in the past couple of years. But I will also point out the <clears throat> other side of the argument, Tom, the idea that Chris Murphy over at Susquehanna, he said, well, yeah, we had a broad rally. 98% of stocks, they were positive. That being said, that traditionally, historically, has also led to some sort of correction or mini correction in the one to two weeks that follow. So really, uh, two ways to read the situation here. Kriti Gupta, thank you so much.